Hey babies, what's up my darling MVPs and how you all doing? Welcome back to Sail with Mimi Shosley Mimi where you get the gist. I see they do it in, I see they hurts. Of course you know there's no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel, if you snooze you do what? you lose are you yet to subscribe to this channel or are you still sitting on a fat long fin kindly post right there subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell if not tell me how do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot like how do you want to get the gist i see the hearts so here yeah, guys it is a done and dusted thingy as your faves were preparing since morning for their special guests the team cleaning team cooking you know <laughs> they were doing their thingy like as they were walking the camera was showing their walkings you know they were fully preparing you know waiting to quench their curiosity waiting to see whoever is coming the guest that is coming to visit them i'm not gonna lie they really tried with their preparation you know um what's their her name z with the decorated decoration z and the else you know in fact all of the housemates they all tried like they all tried the kitchen team kudos to them so while all of this were going on finally cozy and feel all right i feel right i feel right let me just call him feel because i do not really know him so i'm not familiar with him so they walked into the house when they walked in really, <clears throat> excuse me guys when they when they walked in it was this i don't know how to put it right because i don't know when housemates are expecting um, special guests, immediately the, the door said, turn them, turn them. What I was expecting is all of them to run to the door to go to see what's up. So immediately the door opened, Kosi, the winner, Twala, and the dude, you know, came in. Most of the housemates were kind of laid back. I don't know if I was the only one who observed this. Like they were kind of laid back, like, you see Yolanda. With speed, she ran to her Kosi because Yolanda is it may seem as though she really like admire Kosi a whole lot. In fact, she was saying Kosi would be the one to come, and now in her mind, she would be like, Truly, she was right. Anyways, I think they, the housemate, those people that were quite laid back, they were starstruck, you know, they were really starstruck. Like, is this Kosi? Is this for real? The winner of VB Titan, you know, that kind of a thing, you know, because the later stood up, go give them a hug. As they were giving Kosi, they were giving the guy too, you know, they were hugging and sharing pleasantries, you know. And then, of course, you guys know Kosi is so jovial. If there is one thing I have noticed about Kosi, she is so jovial. Like, when you see her, you would not even know she's one big celebrity in South Africa. No ways, you know. So, they started taking them to show them the house, take them like a tour in the house. I'm like, hmm, this life, no balance. So, is it not the same Kosi who was in this house? Like, <laughs> just, was it not just, it's just last year, guys. Maybe Titan was just last year. And now she's now a celebrity guest coming to the house. Or um, more, he choke. If he choke, you go do it, you would definitely know. So that was how they started showing them everywhere. As you can see, the few duties and trying to balance with the head of house chair. Meanwhile, this head of house chair, me, I don't I don't bother this chair at all because it may seem as though you cannot sit comfortably there, you know. It's just like you hanging yourself. So they took her to the toilet, to the head of house room, you know, and here. Yeah, to the bedroom upstairs with yolanda do, ah, yolanda they have been dragging her on the social space guys <laughs> because she literally was talking a whole lot she was like this is my room um the other end is z and papi this is where they do everything and me this is my bed i sleep alone i stay in my bed on my bed i watch them do all the things they do in the midnight and then Kosi was like so who do you sleep with and then Yolanda was like, no, I sleep alone, no. I sleep alone, I don't do it anybody else. And then Kosi was like, why, Mara, you know, why? <laughs> you know, and then what Yolanda was talking, Liema. Mm. Two people have been receiving dragon today. The two people that have been receiving dragon today is Liema and what's her name, Yolanda. Yolanda, because of how she was saying a whole lot of things, you know, saying, oh, um, 
young papi and D, they always do their thingy, doing the touching and everything in the midnight. While she was telling Kosi, Liam, I was also telling Kosi that my room is at the other place. I sleep alone sometimes. I sleep with, but we, we sleep. And then, you know, that was like his three, three some. <laughs> they were three. You know, they took her to the garden, show her the mirror there. You know, everything. They were just doing all the showcasing. And, and Kosi was like, oh, more, you guys are really enjoying here. You guys are really enjoying here because our you, your own is better than our own. There was some time we lack soap. You know, she was just telling them some things, you know. And then, there is one thing I noticed. Liema was so happy to see Kosi. And then the fans took it person and they are like, is it not the same girl who was bashing Kosi while she was in the house? So why are you acting? In fact, if you watched it, you would notice that anywhere Kosi was sitting, Liema would want to sit. Anywhere Kosi was sitting, Liema would want to sit. <laughs> Well, how love you like bicycle? Why fans are out there bashing each other? Why fans are out there having dragging Liema? You know, they are like she's doing eye service. The same lady you drag with your own hand, you type with your own hand, is the person you're famsy, is the person you're trying to form. Oh, you love, you love with, you know. Anyways, um, they were actually they sat down after all the working around the house tour, they sat down, you know, at okay, okay, they did introduction. Yeah, introduction with the housemaid. The housemaid introduced themselves one after the other. As you can see, this is Liema sitting beside Kosi. Anyways, Kosi did drop some words of wisdom for some of them who would be able to be sharp to pick them, you know. And then she told them to utilize this opportunity that it will only come once. That immediately you leave this big brother's house, you would regret why you did not use the opportunity that was given to you so whatever you want to do you want to fly you want to do whatever just do it ignore anything just make sure you enjoy your time being in the big brother house because the opportunity only come once you know and some people will be able not be able to you know uncover themselves some people are not free so of course he said do not do that to yourself free whatever you want to do, be yourself and enjoy the moment live in the moment and every other things will be taken care of you know and then she said something about nominations she said stop playing the victim this is the game stop playing the victim if you have been nominated stop playing the victim about oh they nominated me why did this person nominate no you just have to move on she said that is one thing she has learned on this game when she was when she was in the house she accepted her faith that if I'm being nominated, then I am seen as like I'm a big deal, you know. So don't go and start acting victim or saying, Oh, why do they hate me? Why do they do this? No ways that take it with your full chest. She actually dropped, you know, words that the only the wise would definitely picked on from you know after they finished having conversations, you know, they finished from the inside, they went outside, you know. They were playing games. It was literally fun. They were playing games, truth or there, you know, they were having fun. After Afterwards, they had to go, you know. So when they left, that was where the dragging started. Though some of the housemates were acting like some, they were doing a big. I know some of the housemates were acting like, oh, this person is doing too much. Oh, that person is doing too much. <laughs> I can see with your attitude, but I'm not going to mention names, you know. But if there is one thing Liema made sure she did, is to always sit by Kosi's side. And fans, netizens were not having this. They were not finding it funny. When they were inside, Kosi wanted to sit close to Kosi. When they went outside, um, I said Kosi wanted to sit close. I mean, Liema wanted to sit close to Kosi. When they also went outside, she did the same thing. People are like, Omo, I don't understand. I've not seen somebody that is a... <laughs> that she's, she's a hypocrite because how can you bash somebody and not really like a person? It's, that they are not expecting her to be weird or maybe act abnormal with Kosi, but greet her and be normal like others. You know, now you're fronting like you really liked her during that season. While the people who really do like her are actually laid back. And so the person they are referring to is Z because Z said she liked Kosi during her season too. You know, anyways, that was how it happened with Kosi, Twala and Phil who came to visit the housemate today. And when they left, Liema had this conversation with Jared. She was like almost seeing Kosi. Now she understand why the housemates were gossiping about her while she was in the house. You know, that she is just perfect. 
that Kosi is just perfect that the housemates really use her as center of gossip like they're always gossiping her because she said Kosi has this aura that when you see her she will know that no now human being be this you know that she's just complete so she was hyping um Kosi and telling Jared about her set um Kosi set so Jared was like okay maybe i don't know whether jared did watch baby titan maybe i do not think he did because um lema was narrating everything to him and then lema was like she really wished she would be the next person to win as well you know and then she later said she was joking i said well i'm not joking i really wish i would win you know this season as well and i'll be like cozy and then jared was like okay if you win you're gonna give me you share with me um, Lema said, hmm, share what with you. Okay, maybe maybe I'll give you 100 rands. In fact, they were just playing, you know, joking around all of that, you know. So while they were saying that, um, Jared now said, or maybe I will call him live with you. They were just having one, the conversation. And then Lema now said, hmm, do you want me to be like the other one that after, after winning, she went broke because she took her boyfriend inside and the boyfriend started living with her and now she has gone broke. And Jared was so surprised. And then she said, yes, she said it in a podcast. So, she was actually referring to Mpowa Badimo. Guys, come and see Dragon Liema. Come and see Dragon Liema. And as they were dragging her, some Liema fans were defending her. They are like, but you people say these things yourself. Why are you people dragging um, Liema for it now? I'm not going to lie to you guys. I never knew anything like that happened. I just think it was fans who are fam uh, forming all those things. They were just framing it up that um, Temba finished Mpowa Badimo's money. But I did not see the podcast where Mpo said, oh, that Temba finished her money. You know, so they've been dragging Liema because of that. That is one of the reasons Liema is being dragged on the social space because of what she said about Mpoa Badimo and also actually Famzi Kosi while she said some shitty things about her when during her season. And now Yolanda. <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna lie here. Yolanda do way too much, but at the same time, I don't know why I like her. <laughs> She's so funny. Do you know that she was the one that finally leaked the papi and Liema kiss in public? That was how Jared gets to hear about it. Like Yolanda said it. Um Jar um young papi and Liema kiss, these people and this person kiss, else kills all the guys. Hey, when uh Haibo Yolanda that girl talks way too much. Anyway, talking about her talking way too much, I remember, right? So she's been dragged about that as she talks too much on the social space. And then the Z fans and some other netizens are dragging her because they said she's obsessed with Z. What happened? Remember, she every conversation, she liked having conversation about Z. She discussed about Z with Trenza yesterday, which I also just said with you guys. Now she has come to tell Z to their faces. At least she's able to say whatever she said behind to their faces. You know, so she was telling them that... Um, Z and young papi like each other. No friends get angry when their friend kissed someone else. And then Z was trying to explain it's not about the kissing, it's about not trust being trustworthy that they had a decision here in the south that they are gonna be telling each other secrets. And then Lema was like, no matter how you guys tend to do this thing, it is written all over young papi that he loves you. Same way it is written on Jared that he loves Liema. It, and Chosen was there. And Chosen said, Yes, he accepted to that um, Jared loved Liema more because, you know, as much as he might have um, chemistry with the other ladies, but he really loved Liema more. So now, uh, people are like, Yolanda, what is your business with Z and Young Papi? Whatever they are doing is not your business. In fact, the drugs is just too much. If I'm scrolling, I'll just be seeing Yolanda this. I'll scroll, I'll see Liema that. I'll scroll, I'll see. <laughs> Oh my God! What hell have you like bicycle? The people standing Liema, Liema and um Yolanda, you guys are really strong. But as for Z, I don't think she really gives her fan base problem. But just that fans naturally, natives naturally come for her. Even when she move her body, they would come for her. But Z, she's gentle. No, she gentle. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that was how it happened though today with Co City win at Twyla. It was quite an interesting day. Did you watch it? What do you feel? What happened? Is there anything you have to say about it? Let's operate in the comment section. Thank you so much for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies.